Hi, my name is Margret Bosch. In this video, we are going to practice for loops that produce number lines. Before I switch to Che Grasp, I want to show you a pattern. Let's look at 3, 5, 7, 9, 11. You can always reach the next number by adding 2 to the previous number. All the numbers in the number line are evenly spaced. In such a situation, you can write a for loop by initializing the control variable with the first element of your number line. You keep going until you reach the last element and you update by adding 2, which is the difference between two adjacent elements in your number line. It is always important to know whether your number line is going up or down. In our case, the number line is going up. We start with the smallest number and end with the largest number. That means when I'm comparing i to 11, I have to use less or equal for my comparison. And when I increment my control variable, I need to use plus equal as my compound operator. Now let's look at a second example. 20, 16, 12, 8, 4. You always reach the next number by subtracting 4 from the previous number. Once again, all my numbers in the number line are evenly spaced. My pattern looks very similar. I start by initializing my control variable with the first element I continue until I reach the last element and I update by subtracting 4 which is the difference between two adjacent elements in my number line. Let's look at the numbers 2, 5, 8, 11, 14. These numbers are evenly spaced. Each number is 3 bigger than the previous number. So this number line will work great for the pattern we discussed before. I'm going to start with the keyword 4. I initialize my control variable with the first number in my number line. I continue as long as I'm less than or equal to the last number in my number line. I use less than or equal because my number line is going up, so I start with a smaller value and I'm going to update my control variable by adding 3. I'm going to add 3 with the plus equal compound operator because 2 plus 3 is 5 plus 3 is 8 etc. So my numbers are spaced by 3. Now I'm going to print the number and I'm going to make a new line at the end. Compile, run, there is my number line right here. Let's try another one. Let's say we have minus 6, minus 3, 0, 3. That's the number line I would like to create with a for loop. I start with the keyword 4. I um, initialize my control variable with the first number in my number line. I keep going as long as my control variable is less or equal than the last number in my number line. And I'm going to update my control variable with the plus equal compound operator and I'm going to add 3 because once again my numbers are spaced by 3 which means two adjacent numbers are always three apart. So once again I'm going to print my number and I'm going to add a new line at the end. Here is my compiler. I'm going to run and I can see my number line right here. Now this is your turn I give you a number line, 1, 5, 
9, 13. Try to write a for loop that produces this number line. Give yourself a moment, pause the video, and when you're ready, press continue. So here is the solution. You can see a for loop. I initialize my control variable i with the first number in my number line. I continue until I reach the last number and I update my control variable by adding 4. It's 4 because this is how my numbers are spaced. 1 plus 4 is 5 plus 4 is 9 plus 4 is 13. Let's run. You can see the number line right here in my I.O. window. Let's have another example where the number line is counting down. So I'm going to start with 20, 18, 16, 14, 12, 10. I'm going to follow a very similar pattern. Uh, starting with the keyword 4, I'm going to initialize my control variable with the first number in my number line. I continue as long as my control variable is greater or equal to the last number in the number line. And I update my control variable by subtracting 2. So I want to point out here I have a greater equal operator for comparison because I started with the greatest element and I'm I'm checking whether I've reached the smallest element yet, the number 10. And when I update, I have a minus equal because my numbers are getting smaller and smaller in my number line. Now I have to print the number. Oops. And I want to add a new line. Now let's compile, run, and you can see my number line right here. Another example. My number line is 7, 0, minus 7, and minus 14. Once again, I start with my keyword 4, I initialize my control variable with the first number in my number line. I continue as long as my control variable is greater or equal to the last number in my number line. And I update my control variable by subtracting 7. I'm subtracting 7 because this is how the numbers in this particular number line are spaced. So 7 minus 7 is 0 minus 7 is minus 7, etc. And we are going to add a new line, compile, and run. Here is our number line. Now it's your turn. I give you a number line. 16, 11, 6, and 1. Give yourself a moment. Pause the video. And when you're ready, press continue. Here is the solution. I have a for loop. I initialize my control variable with the first number in my number line. I continue as long as my control variable is greater or equal to the last number in my number line. And I update my i by subtracting 5. I'm subtracting 5 because this is how my numbers are spaced. 16 minus 5 is 11, minus 5 is 6, minus 5 is 1. And if I run, you can see the latest number line right here in the I.O. window.